Well, hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT. My name is Jack, and this video is a follow up. Uh, the last video is I put the antenna out, the temporary antenna anyway. Uh, the my antenna has not arrived yet, so uh, watch that last video. So I bought the MFJ. 4230MV. Why did I buy the MJ4230MV? I don't know, but it is a 30 amp. So my radio here should be able to do the full 100 watts with a, with that 30 amp draw. It should draw about 20, 25 amps, I guess. I mean, like I said, I'm no professional at all, okay? What I wanted to show you here was, what do we got to do now to connect the radio up to the power supply, okay? Seems pretty easy, right? All right, so let me set this camera somewhere where we can get a view here of what's going on. Again, remember, these aren't not professionally shot at all. All right, I'm going to open this up for the very first time. I've never even opened a power supply yet. Um, let's pull it out here. There's the power supply. Uh, it is kind of nice that there is a uh, standard, standard power cable. I'll show you this. It's a standard computer power cable, I guess. So it's pretty nice uh, that's standard. Um, see here, put that to the side. You got a lot of boxes to put away. They do give you an instruction manual. I'm just gonna look at this real quick and see if there's anything special I need to know. Uh, again, you gotta be careful. I don't wanna blow the radio up or do anything diff difficult there. Uh, four to 16 volt adjustable output. Uh, 13.8 volts, 30 amps, uh, up to 5 minutes, 25 amps continuously, so that's important. Right? I'm not going to ever talk 5 minutes straight, I hope. Uh, lightweight, compact, 0 to 16, a 5-way binding post uh, for high current radios, uh, voltage protection, da, da, da. Before plugging in, in an AC outlet, make sure you have the proper input voltage of the power supply. Okay, 115. Place it uh, does not block cooling fans. I'm slot. It's going to be on the corner there. Uh, load it correctly. The red binding on the top post is a positive. The black post is a negative. Operations connect the output to the power and turn the switch on. Sounds pretty uh, simplistic, right? I don't think I can mess it up. The only thing I was worried about is a variable power supply. I hope it's like set so I can just use it and uh, not worry too much about it. I just want the standard 12 volts. That's all I'm looking for out of this power supply. All right, so here's the power supply right here. Looking at the front of it, it has a minimum and a maximum. I guess I'll plug it in, it'll tell me if it's doing 13.8 or not. That's what I need it to do, I guess, for this radio, right? Uh, fault tolerant, there's a fault, there's a volt, there's an amps. They're pretty nice. I mean, I don't shouldn't need to look at this a whole lot. Here's the binding post on the back. And let's see how they're set up. There's no hole in them, so I do have to go around the post. Let's see this one. That one's the same. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip some wire down here off of this. Uh, where's my strippers? Here's my strippers. This is pretty heavy gauge wire um, on this radio here. So this is the radio wire. And we're gonna strip this down. Uh, give a little bit more there. So yeah, they nobody ever shows this on on YouTube. I don't see us anywhere, and um, so I just want to get this stripped off of here. There we go. Try not to cut your wires there. That might not be long enough yet to make a binding post. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see here on this post. Now I'm going to make it longer. I like the wire to go all the way around the post. Let's make this a little longer. Need some light over here. Try to bring you along with me here on this journey. There we go. You should be able to see this happening here. You can go right to here. I would recommend having a good pair of strippers. It always makes these jobs a lot easier. Okay. I'll just give it a good twist. And I know you're saying, hey, Jack, you should be soldering those. And you're probably right. We're going to go for it. Okay, let's go to this one. 
I used to use my thumb and look about the same size there. Okay. Let me strip that down. And see where we get here. Looks like a 12 gauge wire. It's pretty thick. Then I get to the 10 gauge to strip it so I don't pull anything off of there. I'll just twist that one down. Okay, there we go. Pretty straightforward so far, right? Not a big deal. Okay. All right. What I was saying about the binding post is, and always run your wire in the direction that you want to turn it there. So both of these are turning. So we're going to take the wire, go around the positive post there first, give her a little twist. Tighten her down there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Take the negative wire. Do the same thing. Make sure they're not touching, of course. So this wire is pretty thick. Yeah, there's a little bit of wire showing there, so I want to uh, tighten that down. They said it's probably better if you solder these wires. Okay. We're going to tighten that down. All right. So there's that. All right. I like to have good tight connections on my wires. Just like so. They seem pretty tight. I'm going get, to get, get some tape right here. If you can see this, I'm going to get some tape and pull on here. So let me go get some black tape before I turn this thing on. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I got some black tape here. All right. I'm just gonna pull off a piece of tape. I'm really weird about, especially power. What I'm gonna do is, if I can show this to you, right there, and actually, again, I'm sorry if this camera's moving around a lot, but if you can see this, I'm gonna take this tape, go under that power, Okay, this can go around it there. Just to make sure that the power is not touching the case, okay? I don't think it's much problem with the ground. So there you have it, right there, okay? That's how you, I taped it up, all right? All right, let me get the power cable here. I'm going to power the power slot before I connect it to the radio just to make sure it's working. <sighs> I'm sure I do have a proper voltage down here. Okay. All right. Let's get back here. I'm going to connect this to you. Let's see if it'll turn on. And it does turn on and it's at 13.6 already okay so that's good no sparks i'm happy all right let's turn it off here all right it's going to die down all right look at the radio DC 13.8 volts continues 21 amps. I think we can cover that pretty well. Um, okay, so we're going to turn this back on and make sure it's set to 
it is set right at 13.8 okay good so i wanted to make sure we're gonna kill that and we're gonna connect it to the radio so let me do that next and i'll screw the antenna in here okay take the power behind there we got the speaker that around and we'll see what we got here all right there for now okay turn the power supply back on I'm getting 13.8 should be able to power the radio on now I'll take this plastic off here I finally take my plastic off here like so Lay that here for now. Turn the volume up. There's the power. Again, I don't even know how to use this radio. Let's power the computer up and see if there's any DX out there that we might be able to pick up. Again, I'm not a big uh, uh, SSB guy. I know I'm below the bands right there, so. Uh, let's see if I can get my program up here. There's some DX watch. Uh, let's see if we can't go to CW. Got to find a mode on here. Okay, fourteen, fifteen. Somewhere on fourteen fifteen.
place that I spent some time during the summer months, right underneath that bridge. Okay, well, I think all that's left to do now is I'm going to hook the keyer up and try to maybe... I'm not hearing a whole lot tonight. Um, I don't know if it's just the antenna not picking stuff up where it's sitting. But uh, I'm going to try to actually... Um, turn this down. I'm going to try to actually hook the keyer up and just make a, make a CQ call and see if anybody comes back to me there. So I'm going to try that. But the antenna is hooked up. The tuner is tuning it. I still have to look into this radio a little bit more and see, like, how do I see the SWR meters and stuff. So I'm going to look at the book for that now and just to double check to make sure everything's okay. But the antenna is up. It is working. We've heard some people on here. I cut this video apart multiple times editing. So until next time, remember, maybe I'll hear you on the airways, right? Uh, and uh, see you there. Uh, Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT is uh, down and out. 73 is everybody. I'll talk to you next time.